Yo, what's up? Slip here, and welcome back to another episode of Valheim. Uh, today, we are going to head over to Yagluth, and we're going to summon him and hopefully defeat him. But before we do that, we need to gather some stuff. So I'm going to get my silver sword before I forget it, because I want to test this out on him. I think it's going to do a crap ton of damage. It's going to absolutely destroy him with that spirit debuff. Also did a bunch of stuff off camera. I uh, explored a little bit, and I also grinded a bunch of materials to make food. So as you can see, I have a chest full of fish wraps, a chest full of lox meat, a little bit of blood pudding. I think I have more blood bags just sitting around. And I also made this food for when I'm just, you know, farming and all that good stuff. I also found a serpent and I, I killed it. <laughs> It happened when I was transporting all the black metal from last episode back to my base and I ran into it around here. So I just harpooned it and I drug it to land right there and I just killed it. It was actually pretty easy. But yeah, I'm also going to bring this food. I want to use it for the boss. And yeah, see so yeah, I have more blood bags. So I've got a lot of stuff. I've been pretty busy off camera. Doing a lot of boring stuff. I also farmed some some copper, more copper. I know I said I ne was never going to do that again, but you know, I just ended up doing it. But yeah, anyways, let's grab some food. Now I have all the meads that I want to bring. So the food I am going to go with will be the fish wraps, the serpent meat, or the serpent stew, as well as the lox meat pie. Well, actually, here, let me look at the blood pudding. 90, 50. 60, 90. 80, 80. 80, 80. Hmm. Do I want more life or stamina? Man, this gives a lot of life. I think I'll go with stamina, though. Okay, so now we have everything, and we are going to... Head to the boat! Woo! So yeah, I've been pretty busy. I had a crap ton of iron, so I just threw in some more windmills. And although I don't have the barley to keep up with it all, I, I will eventually. So I'm just going to grab all this, actually, bring it back. Because there's one thing I forgot to show you. So I set up a storage behind here, and this is where I'm going to store all my barley flour. As you can see, I already have a bunch already. I'm just stocking up. So we are well on our way to having a bunch of stuff that we don't know what to do, do with. But yeah, I built this nice little dock kind of reminds me of the uh, the dock I have over here by the trader. I actually kind of like the style for a dock. It's pretty, pretty neat, pretty cool. And yeah, as I said, I farmed a bunch of copper and tin. Got a little bit more black metal. Now, the reason I farm this is because I plan on sailing all the way down here to check out the, what is it called? The Firelands, something like that. And we're going to set up a base there next episode, probably. But for now, we head to Yagluth. And of course, the wind is against us. It's always against us. The Ashlands, that's what it is. I want to set up a portal there just to be prepared for when they add new content to the game. I also want to find a pretty big Mistlands and set up a portal there as well. And I might even go all the way north eventually but just prepping for the future till they release more content you know after the uh, development update that they posted the other day it actually kind of makes me regret farming all this food <laughs> I, like just after seeing all the recipes they plan on adding and all that stuff it's just why did i waste my time farming all this food but hey you know whatever we have it if we need it 
That's all that matters. Alright, you know, a couple things I forgot to get, and that's the the totems. God damn it. And uh wood for a workbench. So I'm gonna come over here and chop these trees down. Hey, look, a feeling camp. Hell yeah. Actually I'm gonna go over there. There's trees over there. God dang wind. Come on. You can do it, buddy. And I gotta kind of do this fast because it looks like it's gonna get dark soon. I'm wondering if I should put a wall up around my portal as well. I might as well do that. Just so it's a little protected. Okay, so we got the wood. Let's set this bad boy up. <clears throat> yeah! Oh, that stuff's in the boat. There we go. Get the portal rolling. And then we're gonna set up some walls. And voila! There we go. Alright, time to sleep. And then we're gonna take care of this boss. Ooh, it's exciting, man. Very exciting. Alright, before we do this, I do want to clear a round. Just because I don't want any fuelings creeping up on me while I'm trying to kill this guy. Come here, buddy. You skeeter. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we're working with here. Okay. Okay, so it looks like there's five, which I have the exact amount. Easy. Oh. I hear him. Now, there's a lot of death mosquitoes around here, too. So we just gotta clear these out real fast. Probably wait for my food to fall off as well. Just so I can, uh, fight this guy with the max amount of life I can get. I heard one laugh. Where is it? Is it hiding in the trees? They like to do that sometimes. These sneaky little goblins. Come here, Bubba. I know there's another one. Show yourself. That's a good boy. Boom. Okay, so let me put the silver sword on. Check what's in here. Whole lot of nothing. And I think that is just about clear. Okay, so... The plan that I have for this guy... Is... I want to see how high of a spirit debuff we can get on him. So I'm hoping I can get a backstab bonus with a heavy attack. And I think that's going to put an insane <laughs> spirit debuff on him. And then we just gotta try and maintain that by uh, hitting him over and over again. Hey, there's another one. That looks like a two star. Oh, it is a two star. Okay. Well, I'm genuinely scared. Let's see if we can snipe his buddy. Yeah! Boom! I don't know if I can parry him. I can. I think it's because he cleaved off that other off the uh, the stone. Nope. Nope. Ugh. Come on, die. Boom. Got him. Easy peasy. Okay, give me your loot. Okay, those kind of just popped up out of nowhere, because I was over here and they were not. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pop my fire, and we're gonna summon him. Oh, oh man. I'm nervous. Alright, let's see. Where's he gonna where's he gonna pop up at? Looks like he's gonna pop up right here. Okay. Uh. Stab! No, I missed! Oh no! Well this did not go according to plan. Why's he gotta spawn in such a dumb place? Okay, what are you gonna do? Oh. Oh! Okay, he's got a little meteor attack. 
What else do you do? You scream. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Uh-oh. Whoa! 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 Okay, so that fire doesn't do too much damage. What is this? Ah! Okay, I can hide behind these pillars, which is a good thing. What is that? Is that the meteor? Okay. Does that always spawn behind him? Because I wonder. Oh! Oh! I was not paying attention. <laughs> Hold on, before anything, I need to put these up here. Come over here, buddy. Okay. Huh. Ah! Ooh, 20. Okay. I think... Hold up. Hold up. Okay, nice. We are in a good position, actually. If I keep him here, I will never get hit by that meteor. I just have to watch out for this thing. I'm gonna keep heavy attacking so I can keep a good debuff on him. Man, I'm so upset that we we missed the backstab bonus. That would have been so good. Would have been so good. And this guy is pretty easy. Huh. I don't know. I don't want to know what that feels like. Yo, this guy's a joke. What the hell? Why'd they make the last boss, like, the easiest? The spirit damage is messing him up, though. Woo! Okay, I did get hit by a meteor there. So I'm gonna drink. Keep this debuff on him, he's almost dead. My god. And he's dead! Am I still gonna get hit by meteors? Wow, dude, that was easy! <laughs> what the hell? That only took me, like, less than three minutes to do. Bro, what a upsetting fight. Are you kidding me? At least you got some stone for me. That was pretty nice of him. Bro, that was easy! <laughs> Dude. Man, he got me a lot of stone. Man, I am extremely disappointed. Not gonna lie. That was very anticlimactic. Now just imagine if I did get the uh the backstab bonus on him. Oh man, that would have been insane. That would have been so good. But unfortunately, the uh, the platform he spawned on was blocking me from being able to attack him. Very unfortunate. Okay, well now we got his head. Let's go take it to the altar. And see what he gives. What kind of buff he gives us. That guy felt more like he should have been the first boss. He was so easy. Very disappointed. Jesus. How many times can I say that? Yes, uh, the silver sword is too OP. Too overpowered for him. Hey, okay, where are you? Boom! There it is. Look at his big old head. What's he do? Resistance first, fire, frost, and lightning. Okay. Well, that's a little late to be giving me that. That would have been useful as, like, I don't know, a second boss. So why would I ever need faster woodcutting? <laughs> I didn't even have to use my ability on you. You're that easy. Jeez. And then I got a Yagluth thing. It's a placeholder item for Yagluth item drop. Interesting. So that's not even in the game yet. So I wonder what they're going to rename that. And what it's going to be able to do for us. Well, that's honestly all there is to it. This was uh, probably going to be a very short episode. <laughs> very boring one as well, because he was a joke. God, I cannot get over this. I cannot get over how easy that was. 
<laughs> this is gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. And I guess I'll place you in here. Yo, buddy. I wonder when I'm gonna get around to actually hanging up some of these heads. I think that requires, like, bronze and all that. Uh, I don't know. Alright, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Not much happened today. Probably, probably not gonna be a very long video. <laughs> But uh, yeah, next episode, like I said, I want to explore around a bit and prepare for future content. So I'm going to sail around and try and find a big Mistlands biome as well as the Ashlands. So I can kind of set up shop over there. As always, don't forget to leave a big fat like on the video as well as subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, slop out.